shade the air stays cool turtle track spring 2011 update so mrs bones has been out of hibernation for a few weeks and she made her way down along the road to her old haunt which i'm gonna start calling mrs bones place and she got really close to the road there for uh, the first time i've seen i mean a foot from the busy highway that you can hear in the background and then she made her way across the boggy area behind the barn and over here this is the neighbor's property and as long as i've been tracking her she's never come over here This is a fairly dangerous place for her because not only there's, the, there's this road back, this driveway back here, but they also mow this frequently, as you can see. Now, yes, she is, you know, safe from the highway for the time being, but I just talked to the landowner and they plan to pull out this fence, this old fence. Now, uh, why is this bad? Well, it's not just the fence they're pulling out. They're going to pull out all these trees also. So why this is bad is because here is Mrs. Bones and there she is down underneath this old piece of twisted up fence and she's in a form it looks like but it, if you look closer it almost seems like she's jammed under this wire every time she tries to go forward she can't go forward and when she goes back she can't she could probably get out but it looks awful tough and since she's been here over a week without moving, I'm going to move her. Okay, here she is. That's right, Mrs. Bones, it's me again. Yeah, I'm going to move her back to the area behind the barn, the little boggy area simply because this is a dangerous place right here beside this driveway beside this big field that gets mowed frequently okay just to give you a perspective on how far she's traveled if you look over there beside that small storage building she was just behind that in the woods probably right about the center of the screen so she traveled across the yard, through the garden, or possibly along the edge of the forest, who knows, but she did have to cross this driveway. She probably did that one early morning when it, maybe just after a rain. There's a lot of obstacles, uh, there's several obstacles here. One of the big ones being the road, or the driveway. The other one being this uh, huge pile of debris. Now, I don't know if they plan to burn that, but that is a huge attractant to all kinds of wildlife, such as box turtles. Uh, box turtles will take refuge in uh, debris piles like that on hot days. And then if you decide to burn your pile and there's a turtle in there, well, she's burned up. So, um, you know, you need to burn them pretty quick. If you pile up some debris, burn it quick so the animals don't start making a home out of it. So, here's how close we are to move her right down here into the woods this territory very well there's a lot of her time and uh, this time of the year so let's go let her go all right I've released mrs. bones I'm sure any moment she's gonna bolt because this is um, pretty much her uh, modus operandi um, whenever I find her if I disturb her she takes off after about you know 10 or 15 seconds it's like she knows who I am she's figured that out and whenever I come around she just wants to get the heck out and I'm sure she can't figure out how in the world this human keeps finding her can't believe she hasn't taken off yet it's a good looking turtle Are you going to run, Mrs. Bones? I think she's trying to figure out where she is. This is a far safer...
Oh, here she goes. She says it's time to get out of here. She has to look around, make, make sure she knows where she is, but I'm sure she knows exactly where she is. And there she goes. Not running away as fast as I thought, but... That's pretty fast for a box turtle. The busy highway is just right over there. There's the there's the fence. I'm going to give her a few more days down here and see if she stays around. And if she does, I'm going to move her back up in the forest and Watch what happens. Goodbye, Mrs. Bones. We'll see you in a few days. Let's go check on the other turtles. Well, no luck locating Mr. Bones today. Um, you know, his transmitter's been dead since late last summer, and I've tried and tried um, on countless occasions to come out here uh, whenever I locate Mrs. Bones to locate Mr. Bones, to hope that his signal has returned like Jimmy Irwin's did last year, that it was, just, you know, that it's intermittently working. Um, but no luck. So, about a week and a half ago, I brought John Rucker and the turtle dogs back. And we gave it a go, but we had no luck either. But it was, the conditions were not the best. The nights were cool in the 40s, and the days were not much warmer. But anyway, here's some footage from a couple of days looking for Mr. Bones with turtle dogs. Check it out. I'm turtle. Hey, 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 hey. Trip, 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 trip. Any particular way you want to angle this or just straight in here? Right yeah. Now here she comes. Come on, bark, bark. Hey, he's got a turtle in there. Sparky found the first turtle. Good job, Sparky. <laughs> is it a bone? No, it's not bones. <laughs> new boy Sparkle. Who is that, Sparky? I don't know if I've seen this. It must be a new turtle. And I return to you. Good job, Sparkles. Nice weight to her though. She's a healthy girl. Oh yeah. I wonder if she's gravid. See what remains of all that left behind. I just come for what peace I can find. And the mountain's gonna sing this song for me. All the stories Park, park! That she did tell This little trail that goes down to the lake There in a stillness I learned her lesson well In words forgotten Forever pure Names unspoken 
gone forevermore. I have nothing left to let on the door. And the mountain's gonna sing this song for me. I was 12 years old, Steve, and still hunting very effective. I'm having a great time doing it, it looks like. So we've tried. Tried to find Mr. Bones with technology, tried to find Mr. Bones with dog's noses. And now the next step is to try to find him with a metal detector. That's right. Since the transmitter is metal, and it has a battery in it, and it has a metal wire, steel, we are going to come out here with a metal detector and see what we can find. Now, when that's going to happen, I'm not sure, but I'll be sure to keep you posted on that. Now, why don't we go see if we can find Catherine and Jimmy Irwin and see what they're up to. And there's Jimmy Irwin sitting in a big patch of poison ivy. Now Jimmy came out of hibernation this year right around April 17th. Um, and that just happens to be the same day that we were having our open house um, for the Nature Center. And everyone got to see him. He was in Jimmy's place. Um, and since then he's done a little bit of moving. He's moved down here to the edge of the forest in an area that he frequents where uh, there's a lot of available food such as slugs and snails and other uh, insects and so on and now it looks like he's making his way back up along the ridge line here maybe heading back to Jimmy's place over there so he's doing very well he he only lost about five grams of weight over th throughout the entire winter that's amazing All right, let's go check on Catherine. And there's Catherine. She is deep inside a multiflora rose bush that she has been in many times in the past over the last three years because she is in Catherine's place right across from the barn. She has been here for about a week, and I believe she is filling up on all kinds of yummy foods that she may be finding here. Getting ready for her trek across the mountain to the little field on the other side of the ridge behind the high ropes course. Now this is gonna be the third year that um, I've tracked Catherine, so it's gonna be very interesting to see if she does the exact same thing that she did last year. And you know what? I believe she will. So well, let's follow in Catherine, Jimmy, um, Mrs. Bones, and Mr. Bones' tracks this year and see what they do, see where they go, and learn as much as we can about these wonderful animals, the eastern box turtle. And the mountain's gonna sing this song for me. Whoa, the mountain's gonna sing this song for me. Rock me off to sleep And the mountain's gonna sing this song for me Whoa, the mountain's gonna sing this song for me